Man, I must have done more than I thought yesterday. I slept like a log. Ugh. Food's ready. Huh? Oh, oh, okay, thank you. I'm coming. Huh? Who's... Uh, okay. Hi, my name is Zoe. I'm a local healer. Of course, I'm missed apprentice of Dragolina at the moment. One day, I hope and open my shop that serves both as a place where you can purchase healing supplies, but also a place where I can heal people as well like Galena does. Also, in my spare time, when I'm not helping Galena, I take care of the youngsters in the village. Not that there's many of them right now, but when they're born and the parents need help, I help them. But anyways, enough about me. What's your name? Huh? My name is Nixie. What was that? I don't think I heard you clearly. My name is Nixie. Oh well. Young lady, you better let that girl eat or I swear I'll have you sorting through my herb stores for the next month. I'm sorry about that one, child. She doesn't know when is the right or wrong time to talk to somebody. Mm-hmm. I see you are the type of person who doesn't speak to people in a manner that resembles the common language until you've had food. Uh-huh. When you finish eating, dear, we have a request for you. Alright, I'm feeling ready to take on the day. Oh, uh, uh, Zoe, was it? Uh, sorry about earlier. I'm not necessarily the best person to have any relations with until I've had at least some food in me. Oh, it's fine. I need to learn to read people better, or that's what Galena keeps telling me. Well, considering the last time you did that, they almost threw you into the ocean. I'm just trying to look out for you, dear. I don't want anything to happen to you, which is why... You want me to move closer to you, I know, I know. But I like my little cottage just where it is. I might move closer eventually, but I like being in town where I can easily get to people when they need my help. Unlike somebody. I may be older than the two of you, but I still have my hearing of a hawk. And I have my reasons for being outside of town like I am. I just like my privacy. Anyways, I was gonna have Zoe here go look for some herbs that I needed to restock on. Also thought it would be a good way for you to become familiar with the surrounding area. Uh, that is, if you don't have any other plans, that is. Uh, to be completely honest, uh, I had nothing planned today. I was just gonna wander around town some more. But if you need my help, I don't mind helping. Uh, and my, like you said, it, it gives me a chance to stretch my legs more and work on memorizing the area like you said to do yesterday. Well, it's settled then. Today you'll help out Zoe with a few chores. And who knows, other people in town might need some help too. Okay, so Zoe should know her way around and where to find the herbs on the list that I gave you both. Uh, just don't take too long and try to get back before dark. Oh. And also, if something is too difficult to get, or you run into something, don't go and try and get it. Zoe, this is your warning. And I'll just give it as an order to the next traveling merchant to purchase for us. Am I clear, Zoe? Yes, ma'am. Uh, I, I, I understand. Okay, good. Off you two go now. Okay, with uh, what Galena said in mind, uh, do you know what herb is the closest on this list? Uh, yeah, it should be close by. Uh, we're looking for ginger, um, and this is what it looks like. Uh, okay. Um. Uh, 
Ooh, found it. Eh. And I found six pieces. Nice. Alright, uh, what's next? Okay, uh, how do we get out of- oh, we just get this way. Um, we went on Zoe. Okay, uh, I think that's everything on the list. Wait, what is that cave doing here? Don't think I've seen it before. Wanna explore? Uh, sure, as long as it doesn't make us sleep for food, because uh, I'm kinda hungry. Ooh, let's keep going. Uh, this is fun. Uh, sure. I think we should... Nixie? Nixie! Crap! Hold on. I'll get us both out of here. Elder, what's good lord, Zoe? Let's get her upstairs. Okay, so she seems to be in a stable condition. Mind telling me what happened out there? I see you to collect herbs, not to make one of you pass out. Well, um, we were finished with the list you gave us, and then we passed by this cave. Okay, I'm gonna need more than- I, I, I wasn't finished, ma'am. Uh, then we both went into the cave to explore it real fast. Uh, we, we both found a portal in it, and then Nixie said she, she wasn't, uh, f feeling well and collapsed. I, I, I would have never gone into the cave if I had known it would have caused anyone pain. I was just curious. Uh, ow. Nixie, you're awake. I'm so sorry for making you uh go, go into that cave. Uh, oh, 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 hold on, let me sit up. Uh, okay, there we go. I'm sure she knows that, dear. Now, are you okay, Nixie? Uh, do you need anything? Um, s some water. Uh, my mouth feels a bit dry. On it. <sighs> She's been driving herself crazy with what happened and trying to wake you up. Well uh, uh, okay, okay, what happened? Uh, last last thing I remember was a bright flashing light and uh, then I passed out. Uh, uh, it, it, here's your water. Let me know if you need anything else. Uh, again, I'm so sorry for what happened. Uh, thank you for the water. Uh, it's it's fine. You just wanted to explore. Uh, anyways, there was no way we would have known that what was down there. Uh, just don't know why I blacked out because of it. Have you experienced anything like this before? 
Uh, n no, I don't think so. And I definitely would remember something like this if it had happened. <laughs> hmm. How about we get some food in you and we can continue this conversation? Uh, Zoe, you can stay the night if you want to. Okay, now that we've all had something to eat, let's continue the conversation, shall we? Uh, who wants to go first? Um, I, I guess I can go first. L like I explained earlier, we had finished collecting the herbs on the list that you gave us, and instead of taking the long way around, we decided to take it the shortcut uh, back here. Uh, we were walking back. Um, I, I, I could take over. Uh, sh sure. Um, uh, okay, and, and then we noticed a cave on the side of the mountain, uh, and I agreed that, uh, to go explore it, uh, with Zoe, as long as it didn't make us sleep for supper. Um, but as we got farther into the cave, especially which we- especially when we reached the portal thing, I started to feel sick. And? <laughs> And, well, as soon as we reached the same room as the portal, I started to hear or, like, see lights of someone trying to do something, say something. I, I, I don't know. I, I, like, I, like I said, I don't, I don't know if they were chanting or what, or trying to talk to me or what, but then I saw a bright light and passed out. Oh. I, I didn't know that. All I saw was you say you didn't feel well and then you passed out. I, I also didn't hear anything like what you heard. Uh, maybe... Maybe it was meant for you alone? Hmm... Strange. Either way, that cave is off limits until we can figure out what or why it caused you to react the way you did to it. And I mean everyone. I don't want anyone else passing out or worse, getting hurt near it. Yes, ma'am. Okay, got it. On a different note, Nixie, uh, I think Jason and Eleonora uh, needed you to help in town with something, but I informed them of what happened today, and uh, they're willing to wait until tomorrow, uh, and or when you're better to help them out. Um... Uh, uh, okay, honestly, I, I feel fine now, but I'd, I'd rather get a good night's rest, uh, and then go do the requests, if I can do that. It's settled on, then. Oh, and Zoe, uh, my offer still stands, although you might have to sleep in one of the sick beds. Uh, that's fine, and thank you. Oh, and uh, Galena, if you, if you need help tomorrow uh, going through the herbs or preparing them for storage, uh, I have nothing else planned. Uh, thank you, dear. That would be lovely. Alright, now let's get everyone a good night's sleep and have a fresh start tomorrow. Uh, good night, you guys. Um, and, and Zoe, don't, don't worry about what uh, happened earlier today, uh, it, it just happens. <laughs> hey, thanks for the food. Uh, got, gotta go. Uh, don't worry, I, I, I won't push myself too much today. Okay, uh, let's see who needs my help in town today.
Yeah. Ugh. Every time I look at that river, I get a feeling that I shouldn't be here right now, and that someone wanted to get rid of me. D don't know why. Weird. Anyways, let's let's keep going. Oh, I see they're working some more on the tower. Nice. D why is it raining? Ugh. To do this in the rain. Wait, let me see if I can get into one of the houses. Okay. See if I get one of the houses so I don't get wet. It's too wet. Okay. Whew. Ooh, there's fire going. Stay right here, and hopefully the rain goes by soon. Okay, it looks like the rain cleared out. Not too hungry. So I leave that in my inventory. Uh oh. I meant to come out of the house. Um guess I'll go in this direction. Uh since since uh Jason Mr. Jason was in the stables. Uh I guess I ran right by his house. Uh <laughs> when it started raining. <laughs> Whoops. Anyhow. Oh, there he is. Hello. Well, hello. Uh, you must be the young lady I saw roaming around the village the other day. Yes, um, that was me, sir. Well, it's nice to finally meet you. As you can see, I'm the person who's in charge of the stables. So, if you ever need a horse or a place to keep one, just let me know. Uh, it's it's nice to meet you too. Um, Galena said you had something for me to do. Uh. Sorry about just getting to it now. Uh, I had an issue yesterday. I heard about that. Are you sure you're up to doing chores? Uh, don't want to make you worse. Hmm? Oh, I'm fine. I bounce back f from things quickly. Uh, what was it you needed? Uh, well, if you say so. Uh, I just needed you to head over and ask Maxie at the farm if you could harvest some of the wheat for my horses. Uh, I do have some in storage, but I want to have that for when it goes colder, if you know what I mean. Oh, I feel ya. Uh, I found the horses like fresh hay. Uh, is that all you needed? Uh, that, uh, that they do. And, uh, that's it for now. Uh, thanks for asking. Uh, okay, I'll be back in a minute. Uh, bye. I'll, I'll be back in a minute. Okay, uh, so where is this? person uh, oh let's see if is that her yep okay uh good good morning um the 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 okay I guess you're busy um <laughs> uh Jason said he needed some hay I'm wondering if I can collect any um well good morning uh, collect all you need, although make sure to tell Jason he owes me a favor to recoup for it. Uh, okay, uh, I will. So do I just do this? Oh, where'd that- oh, there. Hey. Uh, wonder- Let me just go around doing this. <laughs> um, I don't know how much he needs. Okay, I think 49 should be enough, um, uh, where do I, oh, I'll put, I'll put the seeds in here and then the rice I accidentally collected. Uh, let's head back to Mr. Jason. Okay, just a little bit farther. Um, I'm back. How about you? Was it too hard to harvest, I hope? Uh, Maxie didn't give you too much trouble. Uh, no sir, she didn't. Um, although she did ask for some type of compensation, uh, when you can come up with it. I knew she'd ask for something like that for the hay. I'll go over to the farm and give her something for it, uh, later. Thank you for harvesting some hay for me. Uh, it's been a hassle getting it with how jumpy some of the horses have been lately. Uh, no problem. It was nice to meet you. Uh, you too. Make sure not to be a stranger. 
Uh, I'll, I'll try not to. Uh, bye. Uh, where do I put this hay? I guess I could... Oh, it's a lot of... Why does he have raw por uh, pork chop? Uh, I guess... I, I, I guess he has a, wants to get a dog eventually? Uh, I don't know. Um, anyhow, um, let's let's head to the market because Galena said Eleonora needed my help. Man, teleportation would be nice, but what? What is? You know, I'm not gonna. Uh, no, nope, not gonna even question it. Man, there's a lot of people out today. this way oh they've updated their shops since the last time oh this looks neat Eleonora okay hi hello dear uh hi uh Galana said you needed something why yes dear I was wondering if you could collect what's on this list here I would go myself, but it's getting harder and harder to go out with my joints acting up. Uh, uh, uh alright, uh, so just what's on the list? Yes, dear, uh, just what's on the list. Although, if you find anything extra, uh, that I don't take, I'm sure Miles can. Uh, he's the one in the stall next to me, to your right, who runs the general store. Oh, uh, guess I haven't gotten around to meeting him yet. Uh, I'll be back as soon as I have everything. Uh, thank you so much, dear. And do be careful. Uh, will do. I'll be back in a few. Uh, okay. Oh, here's the list. Sorry for standing on your stall. Okay, it says I need... Uh, let's go over here and see what they... It's over here. Um, now that's a... Is that it? No, that's a fern. No. Okay, um, looks like I got everything. I also got some seeds. I guess I could close to Miles. Um, yeah, I got some onions, some of the corn, strawberries. Gotta make sure to have her carrots and potatoes. <laughs> Don't know why she had those in all caps. Is this everything you needed? Why, yes, that's everything I needed. Oh, and I'll take the carrots, potatoes, and a few of the other things you got. Um, there's some iron and grape juice uh, for your troubles uh, in the chest uh, beside my stall. Uh, no problem. Um, I like helping out people around me when I can. And uh, thanks for the money and grape juice. Don't mention it, dearie. I know how some of these uh, were hard to find, uh, so I wanted to compensate you in some way. Uh, let me know if you need anything else in the future. Uh, bye now. Um, uh, I'll see you later. Goodbye. Uh, this just- ooh, there's some iron and grape juice, like she said. Let me put all of this in there. Hello. You're- okay. I guess, uh, you're a dwarf or a hobbit? Okay. I'll put the pumpkin, melon, and I think that's meat seeds uh, in this one. Uh, I have other places to be, but I will meet you soon. Hopefully. Uh, do, do I need this list? Huh. I guess I'll keep it and I can throw it away later. Also, where did the guard station go? <laughs> And disappeared. Uh, I guess the uh, jail has moved to the right of the wall. Oh, I guess they moved to the wall. Huh. Interesting. Um. I guess the last person on today's to-do list is uh, Daniel. Oh, okay, I guess there's a the door here. Um, neat. Um, anyways, what did what she need, sir? Hello there. Uh, I have a mission for you. 
could you go gather this list of materials for me here? Uh, I would go myself, but uh, I let the if I let the forge cool off too much, it's a pain to get it heated up to the correct temperature again. Uh, sure, although I'm not completely sure if there's a mine here in town. Well, you're in luck. If you follow the road past the guard station, uh, there's no guard, okay, um, and go in the tunnel that is marked by logs, once you reach the other side, you should see the town's mine. If one of the three miners that are down there give you a bother, just tell them I sent you, and they should let you go your merry way. Also, there are some pickaxes and torches in the chest uh, just next to you to get the job done. Um, uh, uh, okay. Like, uh, there, there's just no guard station anymore, but uh, I think I know where you're going. Um, what if I don't find any find everything? Is it okay if I go pe pay a visit to the mine that's uh, by Galena's house? Sure, I don't mind. Where you get the resources, as long as you get them. Oh, and uh, this is our paid request, just so you know. If you deliver everything to me, then I'll give you a little something for your troubles. Uh, uh okay, I'll be I'll be right back with uh, that list of resources for you. Okay, um, no, oh, here's, I guess this is the chest. Well, yeah, it has a couple of torches and stuff in it. <laughs> Uh, now be said, past the guard station, I can only assume he means the old guard station, hi, uh, it's, it's Nixie, um, sorry, I'm, I'm on thing. And this is where the guard station used to be, so I guess it's, oh, there's the, obviously there's the tunnel. Hello, Mr. Leo. Um, okay, so you said to go through the tunnel. And, oh. Um, you, sir, are stuck in the ground, and I do not know how to help you. Um, <laughs> sorry. Um, I guess this is the mine. Um, oops. Make sure that stays closed. Um... Oh, okay, here's the, he said he needed some iron, uh, here's some, I don't know how many pieces he needs though, um, oh, there's a lot more iron than I thought there'd be. To pick this up. There we go. That was that was strange. Is there some? Aha! Some cobblestone. There we go. Uh, let's get a couple more. What was on that list? Okay, so he said he needed. Uh, I'm clearly mining. <laughs> uh, he said he needed some. What is this? Oh, I can't get it with an iron pickaxe, apparently. Um, hmm. Don't want to take the iron. Maybe if I just mine some of this away? Sure, the miners won't mind me making the mine a bit bigger. What is that? Oh, it's bone. Ew. Who would want bone? Although it is surprising that. Um, although I guess an archaeologist would want a bone. Water is really distracting. I wonder where that that's coming from. If I could get the cobblestone, that would be great. Okay. Um, okay. 
let's put a torch down and dig straight and hope for the best. everything you needed. I have some iron or coal. Of course that iron. Found a couple of diamonds. Oh, well, a lot of gold. Um, and some emerald and amber. Not sure what the amber is used for, but uh, yeah. Um, I hope they don't mind me expanding upon their mind, so. the cobblestone and I guess I can give that to um, Miles at the store. Might actually keep those torches and can't I just combine these? There we go. And then keep the pickaxe. Oh! It's a night time! But I'm tired. Sir, you are still stuck in the ground, and I have no idea how to help you. Uh, I think that's everything he wanted me to get. Uh, yeah. Let's head back. I like that the it has a bunch of lighting. Oh, let me stop by Miles' store. Hi, Miles. Um, I got some bone and uh, gunpowder for you. Don't know if you could use the bone, but I see you have some gunpowder over there. So I, I might be getting myself a backpack soon, because those things are handy. Uh, but yeah, let's go back to Daniel. Um, hi, I'm back with your stuff. Why? That seems like you got everything. Uh, thank you so much, youngin. Uh, here's something for your troubles. I hope you can put it to good use. Oh, and come by my store anytime if you need a job, something repaired, or if you just need something crafted. Uh, thanks. Uh, and will do. Hope you and your wife have a nice night, or, and or evening. Uh, where do I put? Okay. Oh! He gave me a pickaxe. I guess that's. I guess I keep that one. I, I, he didn't say to give back, so. Uh, sword. Ooh, that'll be in handy. Ooh, and an axe. And I'll put this with. And I have 20 iron again. Oh! You know, I was just saying that, uh. I was gonna get a backpack for Miles. Um. But I guess now I don't have to. Uh, let me put this. I guess I'll keep the- you don't mind if I keep the torches, right? No? Okay. Uh, yeah. Well, thank you! Oh, hi, Maxie. Bye, Maxie. Good night, Maxie. Don't stay up too late. Um, it's been, man, it's been a long day. Uh, why is it raining again? Uh, I guess I'll just get wet. Um, <sighs> looked like the crops were growing well though, so that's a good thing. Uh, might ask if Maxie needs help once harvest time comes around. Uh, it just seems like a lot for one person to deal with. Jeez, glad I made it back. Oh. Anyways, I sit in my chair real fast. I am so glad I made it back. <laughs> Although, um, I almost thought I wouldn't make it to the stairs in my bedroom because everything I did today makes my body sore. Uh, nothing but a good night's sleep won't fix. Eh, hopefully.